Hey there everyone, this is Chris from the Tech Basement, once again in the basement. Today we're going to be taking a look at the EK Phoenix Series 280 and their GPU cooling system for the Vega 64. So let's unbox these things. All right, the first thing I want to dig into is the radiator because my last video was about the likes, dislikes of the 360. So we're gonna dive into this first, get, the, get it out of the box and see what we can see with this. And maybe some likes and dislikes with uh, what I see so far. So before putting it in there, we're gonna try to make maybe some predictions on how it's gonna fit and how we're gonna like it itself. So let's remove this for right now and then we'll get back to it in a few minutes. As before, uh, the boxing came in pristine. The I'm expecting the same type of uh, packaging, in other words, well packaged for the transportation. So, with that being said, let's get this thing opened up and show you what the uh, 280 looks like. So, what I can see so far is same foam packaging as before. Very well packaged, very rigid. Oh, you know what? Looky here. It is the same packaging as the 360. So, we know it was packaged very well. We know that the the uh, uh, user guide, whatever manual, whatever you want to call it, is right in here. It's the same. Yep, it's all the same. So nothing new there. And then, let's just uh, dig in here, see what else is in there. And you have your power cable and then the cable that runs to the uh, PMW. So no surprises there as well what we have here and this beast oh my goodness wow this thing is definitely bigger than the 360 and when I say bigger I mean wider this thing is is definitely a beast oh let's see here front back whatever there you go um, this thing is definitely a beast it's it's a 280 and what I'm used to is a 240. Uh, if you look back on or in my videos, you'll see that uh, I have a, a 280, and that was given to me when I started my channel, and that was by uh, Blue Devil. He's over at OCN. If you want to take a look at his videos there, so that. Uh, that is where I got my start into water cooling, at least at this level. I've had AIOs of the Corsair H50, and that one did very well for the CPU and the cooling on that. So if, if you want to do something like that, that is very affordable, and it works very well for your CPUs. The only difference here is that, uh, well, Let's just put it this way, this is higher quality. Uh, when I say that, I mean it's more of an enthusiast type of adventure that you're doing here. Uh, not to mention you're able to able to uh, expand unlike the other AIOs out there. So once again, we have the quick releases here. Uh, we have the pump up here. Uh, let's see which one. I believe this one is the pump and I could be wrong though I could be very wrong but I believe this part top part is the pump this is reservoir so uh, this is your 280 it's a monster that's for sure it's definitely gonna be a cooling 
uh, my GPU at least. That's why I'm doing this all in this order because I want the smaller one to be able to move around if I want to move the GPU. So, now speaking of the GPU, let's move this stuff aside and uh, see what we have in the GPU area. Matter of fact, I'm gonna not even move this aside. I'm gonna move it behind me because I'm pretty sure that the GPU is going to have a lot of tidbits that are going to come with it. So, give me a moment to do that. We'll just put this back here. And, here we go. GPU. Cooler here. I've never done a GPU cooling, so I'm really excited about this. This will be something that... is gonna be foreign to me so with the video that's gonna be for this for the install the, the putting it on the GPU it will be a very learning experience for myself as well I've seen a lot of videos not particularly with uh, the the Phoenix series and how to do those but I have seen uh, some of the GPU install so for water cooling and I I can't imagine they're too much too different than any anyone so there we go Let's skin we have the packaging that right there bring this up here a little bit there you go and then the destructions. All right, yes, I called it destructions. That's just my little thing I do. And on how to proceed with the <clears throat> install of your water cooling for this car. All right, now, a real big plastic bag here. And it's all Encompassing the parts. So, very interesting. What I'm going to do here, just move this aside. Now let's see, what do we got here? They pretty much want you to know that when you tear this off, that uh, you're going in and that's on you because it looks like. Oh, it did it tear apart? Very interesting. Very interesting. So let's let's get this out of here. Take a real quick look at what's in the box. I'm thinking screws and all that other stuff. So let's just confirm that. Go from there. Wow, this is beautiful. Very, very beautiful. All right, I don't like putting this on this table. So we're gonna go like that. Then we're gonna unbox this. All right, as before, the quick connects. <clears throat> and so get into this box a little bit here. Move this right about there. Of course, you have your thermal strips. And you have your Allen wrenches and all that other good stuff. Um, along with the EK thermal paste, which I will be using. And spacers, which will probably be used as well. So there's no real big surprises here. Very nice, very nice. They even give you a, a, back, a back plate. So, which I would hope they would do but you never know sometimes. I've, I've ordered things such as uh, knit cards and things to that nature where you only got the card itself and not the back plate. Uh, but that's, that's another story. Uh, let's see here. Like I said, there's nothing really surprising about this. It's gonna cover the whole GPU uh, and take care of all of those essential uh, components that are heating up. Okay everyone, there you go. There's the two 
280, I almost said 240, shame on me. The 280 radiator and the water block for the Vega 64. So, what do you guys think? The radiator is the same as 360. Uh, the likes and dislikes are still the same. Oh, and on the water block, we'll find out. Like I mentioned earlier, I've never done a water block for a graphics card, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, speaking of that, the next video should be that. I am still waiting for my motherboard for my other computer to come back in. So there may be a delay with the uh, GPU being done because I still need the Vega in my other build. So with that being said, like, dislike, put the comments down below, do those things that you do, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, which is working as I keep on telling y'all. So once again, this is Chris saying out. Oh.